Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again for another impression video. And today, me and my lovely wife, Melina, are going to be talking about our first five games of A Tale of Pirates, the new game from Cranio Creation. It is a legacy-style game with app implementation where you're going to be playing as pirates. And you're going to be playing as pirates, and you're going to be going on various different adventures over the course of 10 chapters. And this is going to be completely spoiler-free, as we'll also post in here. Uh, but we're going to be giving you our thoughts after five games of it, going through five chapters. So, before we get started, I do want to mention that uh, for the sake of review purposes, we have actually lost three games. But we're just continuing to go through the story, despite the fact we've lost three games, because this game is pretty dang difficult. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're on the easiest it's, setting. Yeah. And it's close. Every time it's close. Like the last time it was, it came down to a die roll. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty difficult game. But what are your thoughts after the first five games of it? I really like it. Like the the mechanics of it are different. Yeah, it's a very simple game. It's a worker placement game where you're going to have these sand timers. And these sand timers are going to be the crew on your ship. And the ship is actually uh, a physical ship. And it's going to have all these holes that you will be able to to put your sand timers into and once the sand timer is done you'll be able to take that action now i don't feel like this is too spoilery but as you progressively go through the story what's going to happen is you're going to be put it having extra places that you can put your sand timers there's going to be more actions you can take and the thing that's really impressed me so far halfway obviously through it, it evolves yes it evolves um, and you get these these little envelopes, let me see if I can grab one for you, that you'll be able to open every time that will go over different chapters and they'll have different things in there. But the most impressive part that I can say about this game so far is that we have played this five times now, and each time has had its own different unique flavor. Uh, the gameplay itself oh, yeah. is very simple. This is a family weight game. I, oh, think yeah. this is, I think this is fantastic for families. Uh, it's 30 minutes, two to four players, uh, age is 10 plus, and I think that's just about right. We're probably going to let uh, oh, yeah. uh, my, my friend slash cameraman Eric have this to play with his family after this. I think it's going to go over gangbusters with his 11-year-old. Uh, but they just make these different tweaks each and every chapter, and it keeps it fresh and it keeps it new. And if they're able to do that for the next five chapters, I'm going to be incredibly impressed with this game. Uh, me too. Because honestly, after the first game, I was like, okay, that was good. But what are they going to do different nine more times? Now, um, I have to compare this to other legacy games because this is a legacy game where it's going to continue to grow. And I will say that the other legacy games that, that we that we have played, I've played a couple of them, is Pandemic Legacy, which we were mad on. And yeah, the problem with that yeah. game was the story was absolutely outstanding, mm -hmm. but the gameplay itself was a little bit lackluster and boring. Mm -hmm. This is the exact opposite, I would say. Flip it. Yeah, because... Totally flip it. The gameplay is super fun and engaging, and it's somewhat stressful because you got this app going, and we haven't even really talked about the app. We'll talk about that and in a second. And then you have to wait. Yes, yes, there's this waiting point. And you would think during the waiting point, you're like, oh my gosh, well, we're going to think about what we're doing next, but you're not quite sure what you're going to do next because no. it all depends Don't on your rolling to... dice and shooting things. And I definitely think the game... Well, wait, wait okay. So we, let's get back to what I was trying to say. I totally spaced <laughs> on it. The story is lackluster. Like, there's yeah. a story there, oh, we're pirates, we gotta do this, we I gotta do that. I don't really think that the story, though, was supposed to be, like, the main part of the game. Yeah, but they could have made it so much better. Like, even if they would have just got some cheap guy off Fiverr to, like, read aloud the thing in a piratey voice, you know, I think that would have made this game a lot better. Like, uh, Well, yeah, that's true. Because there's text to read. Now, another thing that I really like about this game is the app. The app does an outstanding job for the most part, I would say. It does. It has very good music that kind of ramps yeah. up the closer you get. Uh, and and it, there's this little sand timer on the app that runs down time. And there's random events that will happen. And they're bad events. Like, oh, you lose a health or you get shot by a cannon or uh, various different stuff like that. I like the app. Uh, the, the app does a really good job of explaining the game as well. I don't think we've really had to go to the rule booklet at all. I think when we first started playing, we did. I think that was just to assemble the ship more than anything, though. Well, no, because I think we remember... I think I remember we we wanted a pause button to be able to refer to the rules because we weren't sure what happened. Yeah. But that only happened once. Yes. 
I would and say after we got things cleared up, like we were good to go. Like we didn't ever need the rule booklet again. Yeah, I yeah, we have not used it uh, the last four games at all. Just zero. It's super simple. Um, Once you get it, you get it. Component wise, the ship looks really stinking cool. It really is. It does. Cool. <laughs> that being said, there are some issues where like. The holes are just a little bit smaller than I like them to be, especially on this top mast right here. You can pull it out, and the yeah. mast will fall apart. Yeah, uh, we've sometimes had that issue a lot. cannonballs will fall into the little holes, which you know they're minor stuff. They're minor nitpicks more than anything. Which they accommodate. They 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 know things are going to fall in there, so they put a hole in the bottom of the ship so you can get them back out. <laughs> there is one really annoying thing Easily. about this: is um, the mast adjusts how much you're going to be able to move your ship, and also how how much you're going to be able to turn your ship. And they should have made that double-sided, but honestly, without showing it to you close up, which I'll do when I actually review the thing, it doesn't make much sense to you. But overall, components are great. App implementation is great, aside from the fact that I really wish they would read everything aloud. Because you do have to read a good deal on the app, like what the cards do, and stuff like that. You need a proofreader, too. Yeah, there, there's a little Just bit. little minor things. It's nothing really to nitpick about, but... Yeah, there's, there's there's some language little, things little, where it's like, yeah. oh, that's misspelled, or there's a there's a letter that shouldn't be here, or stuff like that. Or that sentence doesn't quite sound right. But I will say this. Because of, I'm sure, a language barrier. I think we played this five nights in a row now, and I'm legitimately excited to play each and every new chapter. Not because of the story, but, <laughs> but because, because of the game. Because of the mechanics. Yeah, and I'm excited <laughs> to see what new things we're going to add, because we physically have added something to the ship. We've got this upgrade. We've got new places that we can place our sand timers. Uh, well, I'm not going to... I can't tell them that part about Willy, but there's other stuff. I mean, there's... And I'm excited each and every time. I'm excited to open that bag and see what there is in there. Uh, it also has a very video game-esque thing where you can do the easy setting, the medium setting, the hard setting, and at the end it says, oh, how much life did you have left? How many damages do you have on your oh, ship? Oh, yeah. It'll keep track. Overall, what are your thoughts on A Tale of Pirates halfway through it? I really like it. I agree. Outstanding. I just, it's amazing. Uh, I would honestly, if it continues to be this good for the next five things, I'm going to put this as a Bower's Best Seal, and this could easily crack my top 20 games of all time. Just because I think this it is... It is so much fun. Yeah, like, we're going to keep this and play it with our, our son when he gets old enough. Guaranteed. Uh, this, if it continues to be this good, could put... Uh, Rhino Hero Super Battle uh, is my number two family game of the year. I was say, and there's definitely replayability here with this one. Yeah, and that's another great benefit that's, of the story kind of stinking. <laughs> it is, because there, there's definite, you can definitely replay this. Yeah. Like, we could play it together, and then we can get together with our friends and play it if we wanted. Oh, that's another thing. So we have not introduced not anyone else to the game, but I, I feel like this would be a very easy game to learn and to teach. Oh, yeah. Uh, because... Well, it says we recommend playing with the same crew each and every time. I mean, really, there's how many different actions is there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, nine actions tops that you're going to need to yeah. teach them about. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be hard to learn at all. Yeah. So I have a feeling we're definitely when we get done with it, we're gonna bag up all these different chapters uh, and replay it as we get older. Let people borrow it. Uh, so yeah. Well, the box insert. The box totally insert, accommodates. Eh, for, it doesn't I accommodate mean, the tokens. It's kind of a cheap plastic. Well, that might also happen when I was when I was. That could have happened. That when, could have been my fault. When you were coming home. Yeah, the box insert does look very nice. But I will it's have got to, these slots in here for all the different chapters. For the cards, but there's also tokens and. Well, I, things. but you can bag those up and label them. But in the end, if you cannot tell, uh, we're huge fans of a tale of pirates at two players. Now, here's another question. Do you think we'd be enjoying it as much at four players or three players? Because I think so, because then they're at least for me at least, I wouldn't have to pay attention to two sand timers. Yes, but I think some people might think that's a detriment. Because I think having two sand timers actually makes it a little bit more difficult, to be honest with you. I think I think the I think it does because I found myself holding one. I'd be like, what do I do with this? What the hell do I do with this? Like I don't know where to put this, so I'm just gonna hold it while I wait on my other one. <laughs> So yeah, the easy, but then again, we are on the easiest difficulty, so if you have more people, you could easy bump it up to medium and hard. And I think you would have to. I think if we got two other people to play with us, we would have to bump it up to at least medium. Yeah. To play. But in the end, Tale of Pirates, we're halfway through, and I already think this is a fantastic game. So definitely one you cool. are going to want to check out if you are in the market for family game. There's the other question. Is this good enough to be a game night game? Uh, I would still say yes. I think so. It's it's almost filler weight. I mean, it's 30 minutes. 
I was saying you honestly don't even necessarily need the same people to play. Yeah, it'd be better if you did, but yeah. It would be better if you did, but I mean, like, if one person can't make it one week and you're going to continue playing the game, you don't necessarily need them there. Now, here's another question. 30 minutes, is that about right? I, I, I haven't really been paying it. Like, we've been having so much fun, I haven't really been focusing on how long the game takes, so I would put it closer to 20 to 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, I think that's about right. I think it depends on which chapter you're in. But yeah, 30 minutes, and I'd say that's that's the cap. I mean, 30 minutes tops, which that's that's fantastic. This seems like the kind of great game for like right before bed if you have a family or something like that. Uh, but still, at the same time, I think this would be a really good uh, game night game as well. I think I think game groups really are going to dig this game as well. As long as they like worker placement and fast pace and stressful, you can bump oh, yeah. up the difficulty. Um, so in the end, A Tale of Pirates, Cranial Creations, absolutely freaking outstanding. Halfway through it, and I cannot wait to finish the rest of it and eventually bring you that review. Hopefully telling you the last five chapters are just as great. Maybe even the story gets better. Probably. I, I have very little hope of that, though. I don't, I don't think the story's going to get better. <laughs> but still, the gameplay is what it's all about, and the gameplay is fantastic. The one thing the story does have going for it is that it uh, makes sense. It does. It, it makes sense. It continues, and it makes sense. But it's just not a very good story. Yeah. It's, it's, it's typical pirate fodder. Uh... But if you're enjoying these videos, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. If you were on a pirate ship, what would you want your job to be? You want your job to be. What I would want my job? I'd be the lookout. You'd be the lookout? Yeah. That seems dangerous. I would say the captain, but here's the thing. The captain, they oh, they always get overthrown. Like, they always... <laughs> in the stories, they do. Yeah. How I'm many times in real life did they actually get overthrown? How the hell would I know? I wasn't a pirate. <laughs> I, I would be, I is there? I would be the second mate, not the first mate. If that's a thing, I would like to be the second mate. Because you don't want to be the guy taking over the ship until the other guy takes over the ship. Yeah, and not to mention they might just kill the first mate because oh he's real chummy with the captain, but the second mate, hey, I'm not so chummy. So I would like You're to be, chummy with the rest of the crew. Yeah, so I'd be the second mate. But let me know in the comments below who would you like to be on a pirate ship. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.